Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for June 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Pisces. Pisces. So we're going to get one of these oracle cards and one of these and if it flips over, you get to see it now. If it doesn't, you'll have to it will be revealed at the end. That one flipped over, so we are going to go ahead and let it fly. Centering. Centering. We'll see what that means as we do the reading, but you know, it's about centering your soul, right? Getting yourself centered, getting yourself in balance. Getting back in your own element. This is for the sign of Pisces. My readings are generally love readings, so take it as it is. If it doesn't resonate, whatever. Oh, another flipper. Look at that. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Pisces. June 11th through the 18th, the sign of Pisces. You guys are, are moving on. You're moving on to a much better place in your life. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or any other person that is very vibrant, very enthusiastic, creative, has a lot of confidence. Maybe that's you having a lot of confidence, getting creative. Maybe you're enthusiastic about the future. Um, the High Priestess Reverse, this is... Oh, hidden agendas. Yikes. Somebody could have some hidden agendas here. You fear that they have hidden agendas. What the hell is this? They're secrets. Somebody has some secrets. Maybe that's you. I don't know. Oh, yeah. There is definitely some secrets. A secret is about to be revealed, put it that way. Some truth is about to be revealed that you've been waiting for, okay? There's also, you know, there could be a second chance. This is a second chance. Maybe somebody wants another chance. I don't know. Um, this judgment card can be about forgiveness and offering another chance. Somebody from your past. Somebody, maybe somebody you dated before. I don't know. This is somebody from your past. This, and when I say somebody from your past, let me make this completely clear. It doesn't mean that you dated them before. It could, but it could mean an acquaintance. It could be somebody that you grew up with, or it could be just somebody that you feel so familiar with that you knew them in a past life, okay? So just letting you know. You do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. You also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have Leo. Let me get this zoomed in. You have yourself. The center of the reading is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you could be feeling very enthusiastic about a new opportunity that could lead to stability and security with, uh, could be any sign, but the, the, the basis is this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just somebody that is very stable and secure. You know, maybe, you know, this is karma, because the justice is a karma card. We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here that is in reversed. You know, there could have been some sort of interference here. Uh, whew. It looks like you haven't given up the fight. Somebody has not given up the fight for this person. Whoever it is, it's like there's still some fight left here. And now you're trying to restore the balance of something. And that centering would reiterate that. 
There's been a, a, a period of unhappiness over something that was revealed. I feel like something was revealed that now is pushing you to make a solid decision in regards to what you're passionate about. Okay. So anyway, there's there's a lot of passion here. I feel like you guys are moving towards something very, very um, prominent that you've been waiting for. You know, I feel like you've been waiting for this. There has been... Oh, there could have been some abuse, too. I mean, I have to tell you, the King of Swords is abuse. I mean, the King of Swords in reverse, whether this is mental abuse or verbal abuse or, you know, somebody was treated very badly, okay? Somebody was treated very badly. I don't know what this is. But it feels like some secret is coming out in regards to... your past. Interesting. What the hell is this? You are getting your life back on track. Put it that way. You guys are moving in the right direction. Whatever's happening is moving in the right direction. They're, oh God. I hate to say these words. I really do. I got words in my head which I'm holding back. Um, there's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of suffering with somebody from your past. There has. There has. There's been a feeling of a broken heart. There's a broken heart here. And, you know, it, there's been a, a lot of stubbornness, a lot of uh, insecurity. And I think you've been thinking about going back or somebody's been thinking about going back to you. The truth is absolutely coming out this week. The truth is about to be revealed. That is the some truth. A secret is about to be revealed. And I think it's about an earth sign. I do. I do. We have earth sign here, earth sign here. There's been a lot of stubbornness. Somebody in a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. But you guys are, are moving forward. You're moving forward. It's something that you hadn't given up on. Somebody. I mean, come on now. I mean, there is. There's, there's, there's somebody from the past that you haven't given up on and it feels like you're you're either moving towards them or they're moving towards you or at least you're thinking about it there has been some interference here with this king of swords gemini libra aquarius and uh now i feel like there's been a an opportunity that was either lost or it hasn't been seen or it wasn't taken somebody didn't take that opportunity didn't take that opportunity of love they didn't want it they didn't want it Sheesh, Kingdom Crow. It wasn't uh, it wasn't solid. It wasn't stable. Anyway, it feel and that could be you. Maybe you rejected an offer that wasn't solid, wasn't stable, and and now you're probably feeling um, there's a lot of hurt here, Pisces. There is. I mean, there is. There's hurt. There's insecurity. There's instability. Um, And there's, there's a feeling of, you know, the truth finally coming out. The truth is about to be revealed, especially with this Seven of Swords reverse. It's like, yikes. Yeah, there's been a breakup. There's been a breakup. Oh, my gosh. There's been a breakup that, that hurts. There is. And I don't know what the hell this is. Um, but... And then here we have the Hierophant, which is represented by the sign of Taurus. We have Libra here. Anyway, um, there's a loss of faith. There's a loss of faith, and somebody hasn't been listening to their inner guide. They're not following their intuition. But this Two of Wands, you have two paths. You have to make a decision. Did I mention that this judgment card is about forgiveness? Okay, somebody may be working on forgiving and offering another chance to somebody, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody wants another chance. I don't know who this is. Anyway, two paths. This is about decisions. And maybe somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side and the grass really wasn't greener on the other side. And they left and now they want to go back. This is about... Um, a, a, a new a new doorway opening 
Okay, but you have to decide, are you going to stay where you're at or are you going to head in that direction? I mean, this is do you stay or do you go? Somebody has been super, super, super stubborn with making this decision. Okay, and it feels as though there's been a lack of faith in a in commitment. Somebody has been afraid of commitment with that Hierophant card. They didn't want to offer anything stable. You know, somebody doesn't want to offer anything stable and secure. And therefore, there's a lost opportunity in love. I don't know what the hell this is. The Tower card is some sort of breakup. It is. It's some kind of breakup or upheaval or... false false connection but there is a new opportunity you have to make a choice okay there is a new opportunity for love there is i feel as though the thing is is somebody doesn't want a commitment here they don't the hierophant reversed it's like there there's a feeling of there's a lack of faith in a relationship even though there's love there's love. There's probably a soulmate connection here. And I feel like there's been some fear of commitment. But now maybe you don't have that fear anymore. Because this is, this. you know, maybe there's no more fear. All right. Um, things have been stalled for quite some time. And, but now there is a new message coming in. Whether you're sending it or they're sending it. Somebody is sending a message of love. And it's welcome after some sort of upheaval in your life or their life there's been an upheaval there's been a breakup whether it's with you or the person you're thinking about there's been some sort of breakup and now there's a new offer of love and it feels that's where the new love comes in it's like there's a new offer of love and this could be somebody that you already know somebody from your past i mean that's what the six of cups is so, um, this person is probably, could be a soulmate. Uh, you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. That's what this card is. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Um, a decision needs to be made in regards to commitment. Do you want a commitment or not? Do you want a commitment? There is a feeling of, um, there's a union, there's a union to be had here between two people and I think it is, um, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of fear, there's a fear of, of, set, of, uh, moving too fast you know what if we move into this too fast and it doesn't work out you know there's a fear of getting involved in it not panning out there's fears here there's fears of of being lied to there's fears of of conflicts there's fears of being defeated there's fears of um the power struggles that could come out of this okay but i feel like Somebody is taking action in regards to who they love. Okay, they are. They're taking because this is act now, think later, taking action. There's new love coming in, or you're going after new love pretty quickly. Somebody is going after love pretty darn quickly. Whether it's you, whether you're going after somebody, or somebody's going after you, there is something happening. And it's, there's a lot of seduction, there's a lot of attraction, and there's a mutual understanding between the two of you. And I feel as though the ties had been severed in the past. The ties had been severed. But now, they're, but there's still love. Okay, there's still love, which is crazy, because this is the ties being severed with somebody from the past, but there's still love. I don't know what the hell this is. So, um... There was not equal give and take in a relationship. So it feels as though there's fear of being rejected here. There is definitely fear of being rejected. There's also been a feeling of 
a lack of harmony, a lack of balance in your life. I don't know where this is coming from, but it feels like you, you don't even know. There's a lot of sixes here, by the way. Okay, six, 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 six. I'm sorry I'm getting off track, but I just was looking at those sixes. Sixes are about getting your life back on track. It's about the choices that you make to get your life back on track. There's been a period of time, maybe it's been six months, where things have been out of balance. Things have been a little chaotic. There's been a bunch of losses, maybe financial losses in your life because things were not where you wanted it to be and when when you when your life is not on track it seems like everything falls apart and you know 666 get your life back on track it's it's the journey towards balance and harmony when you see 666 and things have not been harmonious in your life so it feels as though this is a week where you take action to bring that harmony back with i think and i hate to say this because i know a lot of you don't want to hear it because you're so stubborn that this is, you know, um, there was ties severed with someone from the past. There was a breakup, but there's still love. And, you know, whatever. I can't change that. And now somebody has to step outside of their comfort zone and free themselves from this trap that they have themselves in it's a mental emotional trap that you, that they're in and it's time to center yourself and bring back that balance and harmony that was lost maybe six months ago could be longer what was six months ago what is this this is june december <laughs> So anyway, I feel like this is a week of making a choice in regards to love and taking action. Make the choice and take action. There is an opportunity for love here if you can get your get yourself wrapped around it and take some action. That's what I see. There's an opportunity for love and it could be very seductive. Okay? There's there's seductive here. There's seduction, and I think there's a there's a welcome opportunity of love after some ties have been severed after a breakup. I mean that's that's what they say. I know you guys, some of you don't want to hear this, but that's what I see. Commitment, long term solid commitment, is the biggest hurdle in this dynamic. You do have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. Do you stay where you're at and live in this place of no peace, no harmony? Or do you take that action and go after love? Somebody came to your mind while we were doing this reading. That's where you need to go. That's what I have, Pisces. Talk to you later.